We're back, people, and today we're going to film on Christian Wilkins, Miami Dolphins defensive tackle, and honestly, with his play this season, he's really, like, earned a big contract extension in the offseason. Will he get it with the Dolphins? I hope so. He's one of my priority, personally. I think, you know, he brings a lot of energy on this defense. He's one of the leaders out there, and he's just a very good player. Um, I know people wanted to see the big sacks. He's finally started getting the sack numbers up. To me, that wasn't that big of a deal because in the system he played in previously, he wasn't really allowed to rush the pass. So like truly one-on-one, -on -one, like pin the ear backs, get to the QB. It was all about being disciplined, stay in your rush lanes, uh, just collapse the pocket. But now he actually gets a chance to push in the pocket. He's still a great run defender. was probably the best run defender in the league last season. This season, he's still been very, very solid, and now he's just making an impact out there um, more as so as a pass rusher, really got to show off his skills. And I would like, you know, to keep him around. If he doesn't, that would absolutely suck, but I, he's earned, you know, a big contract for sure. He's one of the best players on this defense. I think he had a, literally some people, because the week one game was like really bad all around for the defense, but I think his individual performance, that was definitely his worst one. But since then, it's been all up from there. Some dominant games, some good games against the Jets. He was absolutely bullying these Jets offensive linemen. They have a pretty bad front, just Getting this open here, you can see him set this up, uh, um, give a little bit of a stab to the inside there, get outside of the frame of the offensive lineman, get him to, you know, open up right there, get off balance a little bit, and now use that long arm, extend with that inside hand to open up his hips to the inside, and now you're just on an inside track to the quarterback there. He's also just like a great athlete that's super powerful at the point of attack to make these types of plays. Just has a very, like, nice, unique type of skill set moves really well for a guy of his size so really really love watching him this season he's always been one of my favorite players to watch one of the best players on the team for many years now and uh he's probably gonna get paid pretty big this offseason he had like multiple plays in the running game in this game where like he just did his job and was there to make a play but someone else had like come in free and got the tackle for loss but like if that didn't happen Wilkins was controlling his guy at the point of attack as you can see Chubb is absolutely just able to destroy the tight end there but you can see him reset this line of scrimmage on this right guard right here um point of attack get control and he's like playing a gap and a half technique he's got his primary gap secondary gap this guy has nowhere to go to the side of the field because he's just ready to stack and shed at any moment. And when Brees Hall commits to the inside, he's able to come off of it and would have made this tackle for basically no gain. He was very much under control, and there was like multiple times where like he could have had some big time run stops, but a couple players just made good plays beating their blocks. But he was playing very, very disciplined football, controlling your guy at the point of attack, reset the line of scrimmage, good hand usage. He's just a very uh, technically sound player, but can also instantly destroy, create penetration, get in the backfield, disrupt, get big time losses. He was doing that a whole bunch last year, and he's still been doing it this year. Here's another example of this very similar play. He bumps down pre-snap uh, just uh, to, th to the three tech. They change over. He was the two eye. Bump down with Sealer, get that three tech, get control, has to make that late adjustment. Phillips is the one who gets another tackle for loss, but he's in control at the point of attack. In his primary gap here, once he sees Brees Hall about to commit over the top, he's ready to shed to the inside, throw this guy around like it's nothing, and he would have been there to stop this for no gain as well, but ends up being a tackle for a loss. It's just sometimes these things, they don't get to show up on the stat sheet, but he was there um, making good football plays too, just being, uh, this is just really good technique. He's always staying square, he's powerful, he's got good leverage, stays low, and then like peek to the outside like this once he sees the running back. Uh, declare inside he's ready to shed there too uh, playing in that gap and half to gap technique style and Wilkins get control at the point of attack now we get to see him like shoot in the backfield basically just take two offensive linemen out of the way which leads to other people coming in unblocked he had he had 65 bullied the whole game and he's able to like you can see the explosiveness he's lined up as the three tech and look at him knife to the inside into the a gap right here rip underneath he takes out the center takes uh, the guard with him too, knocks them both to the ground, even ruins the fullback's angle to take away Bradley Chubb too. He has to like slow down, take a worse angle. And that just kind of blows up the play, leaves Raekwon all the space to work with unblocked, uh, leaves the linebackers clean, and <laughs> they're able to just come up, fill in the hole, like just because Christian Wilkins absolutely destroyed that play just from his dynamic first step, because his first step explosiveness is really, really good for a guy of his size. He just absolutely takes multiple people out of the way 
And look at how he stays on his feet too, which is super impressive. Like look at your position here. He's ready to fall over in between two guys, kind of get sandwiched, and he's able to flip his hips, get back around, even spin out of it. It's like that's insane athletic ability. Another play versus the run where he's just making an impact without getting the tackle. The way he's able to knife into the backfield, you can see all the the ability to just reset the line of scrimmage and open up this for other players. Just first of all, he's lined up as the like two I right here, and he's able to get back across the center because their first steps are away from him. He gets underneath, takes the attention away from the guard. Uh, the center has to like hook him up around, and now there's all this room for these Phillips sealer to win their blocks get to the inside right there it forces dalvin cook to bounce off of this change up you know that angle to get over there and he just creates so much instant penetration like it's not you know his greatest play versus run but it's just another play where you can just see that dynamic first step quickness that he has and like if you just if you watch any of my breakdowns last year on christian wilkins he had the system really allowed him to shine versus the run really this system it doesn't allow him to do as many flashy things make many tackle for losses just you know based on his technique and pre-snap alignment, how they play the run and the run fits. It allows everyone else to play more consistent, but it doesn't allow him to shine like that. But you can see his ability is still definitely there. It's just, you know, not as friendly for him to be, you know, as much of a star versus run, but he still is making a plenty of impact plays, whether he's getting the tackle for losses or not. Here's the second Christian Wilkins sack. Not as impressive as the first one because this time he's left unblocked, but he's like on like the backside of a play action boot. And this is just more like to see his instincts rather than like, you know, the pass rush repertoire, how he uses his hands. Um, you get to see more of the instincts and the athleticism to make this tackle out in space. This is just super impressive, you know. He understands the situation, like just based on that, the running play here, he knows that he is responsible for this QB. He takes that angle, he's just, you can tell he's studying the film because he's anticipating that he's going to pull that ball he takes a great angle to the point of attack and uh he just makes a nice open field tackle you can see the athleticism the footwork closes very very quickly get him that second sack on the stat sheet and you know whether it's the most impressive sack or not it's still a very very strong play for Wilkins. he has played really well this offseason and was bowling the jets and i feel like he's played even better as the season's gone on let's play the ring breakdown this is actually the pick six Watch Christian Wilkins on this play. Nothing, you know, too crazy going on in the beginning. He's just making sure the QB isn't able to, like, step up and throw it, like, run down the, like, get a huge, like, running start and then throw it with a bunch of momentum. He's getting blocked by two guys. Nothing to really pay attention to here. But just watch Christian Wilkins when he comes back on this screen. Pay attention. He's looking to see the blocks. Lead block. This is the most underrated play <laughs> that he had. He carries Brees Hall for over 10 yards on the block and Javon Hall and every receiver's behind him. All he has left is the lineman, the quarterback, and the running back. The biggest threat to tackling him is really the running back because even if the running back doesn't tackle him, he usually would at least slow him down, which would allow the lineman to get around him, possibly the quarterback. Really, the running back's the biggest issue and Wilkins just lead block. Very impressive play. Great effort, great energy, and he finishes. So if you guys know the video, Wilkins, big time player, big time plays um, in many different ways in this game. So just enjoy it. Meet you for that. Come on,